living in a multimedia world today, and today everything is possible. Media is making this ex uh, explosion so fast that something that's traditional today is not traditional tomorrow. Tonight, America's painter laureate, Peter Max. He's not just an artist, he's an icon. We welcome to Larry King Live an old friend, the world-famed artist Peter Max, who has an extraordinary way with color. How did you find that? You know, how do you find color? Larry, color and creativity just happened to me. I grew up in China and I uh, always drew and always used to sit up in my three balconies in our pagoda house and she used to say there's paints over here, there's color pencils over here and there's color papers over here. Now you go make a big mess paint whatever you want and we'll clean up after you compared to telling a kid don't make a mess and what are you going to paint and so I was very very free and in China that's where I discovered it. I'm here with a painting from a man who's painted presidents, actors, even anchors like our very own Walter Cronkite. I visited recently with Peter Max in his studio and met the man behind these beautiful paintings. Peter Max is probably the world's most popular artist. Peter Max was classically trained. Then with his colorful constellations, painted the canvas of the 60s. If the Beatles provided the soundtrack of the era, Peter Max painted the landscape of the time. His artwork would reach from album covers to wristwatches, to airplanes. I think every art style that I've ever developed has come from a friend. My greatest influence are my friends. Then came iconic art, portraits of presidents and personalities, and giant statues of liberty painted on the White House lawn. How did the patriotism thing, you get involved in Statue of Liberties and commemorative things for the country? You know what happened in 1976 when the bicentennial happened? In 77 I painted two and then so forth. And by the time it was time to paint six, which was 1981, and Mimi, my assistant, says to me, Peter, it's the first lady on the phone. I said, you must be kidding. I can't believe it. It was Nancy Reagan. She said, Peter, we love your work. The president loves your colors. I love your color. Are you still painting the liberties every year? And aren't you up to six this year? So it was only fitting that we turn to Peter Max to paint in our house. Did you see our studio like a great big open canvas? Yes, I did. What do you want people to wake up to in the morning? You want them to wake up to this vibrant color? I, you know, I like people to wake up happy. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think you accomplished your goal of making us wake up happy. This is gorgeous. Thanks. It's just missing one tiny thing, an original Peter Max here on The Early Show. Mm -hmm. We're going to put it up on our wall a little bit later. How did the love thing come about? One day, somebody, uh, you know, love was the big thing for the 60s. And one day I was late at night listening to the Beatles music and I just did the L-O-V-E and suddenly I had my own Listening to the Beatles. <laughs> Peter Max, the world-famed artist, pop culture icon, been called the Painter Laureate of the United States. It's an honor just to know you. Love is all you need. Love is all you need. Love is all you need.